So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Kung bago pa lang kayo dito sa channel ko, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And also please click the notification bell button below para lagi kayong updated sa mga bago kong videos. Okay, so today... In continuation nung pinakahuli kong in-upload na all about DNS or how to change DNS, meron akong i-introduce sa inyong isang app. Um, it's like an easiest way for you to change DNS or connect to any DNS servers that you want. Now, actually nasa Play Store siya. Yung, dis uh, yung link niya for the app is ilalagay ko sa description box below. But uh, for now, let's check on how... Uh, or kung paano natin gagamitin siya, para saan, why do we really need to change DNS, safe ba na mag-change ng DNS. Okay? So, napunta muna tayo sa Play Store, and then search natin siya. Ang pangalan niya guys ay DNS Changer. Right? So, click ko na yung install. It's uh, just about 10 megabytes only. Now, ito yung ano niya, yung pinaka-purpose niya about this app. So, it works for both mobile data network, mobile data network, and Wi-Fi. Ngayon, DNS Changer is the easiest way to change your DNS and test the speed of DNS servers. Works without root or yung phone na hindi naka-rooted or yung phone na hindi na-jailbreak. And works for both Wi-Fi and mobile network data connection. Now, the DNS changer changes your device's DNS address, address not affecting your connection speed in any way. So, it is faster than a regular VPN. Install DNS changer for Android and try it yourself. Now, ito yung mga reasons. Why to change DNS? Okay? So, in Tagalog, bakit natin kailangan pata ng DNS? Ano ba? Para saan ba to? So, ito yung mga reasons few of the reasons. First, explore freely on your favorite sites and apps. Browse privately. Watch streaming libraries from any country. Stay secure on public Wi-Fi. Access websites and apps while abroad. Enjoy the best net browsing performance. Better online gaming experience which is, which, which is usually yun yung ginagawa natin lagi. Easy one-tap to connect. No registration, login, or no password required. Now, yun yung part ngayon. Now, dito naman sa how does it improve my internet connection. So, ito yung pinaka main purpose natin kung ba't natin papalitan eh. So, ito yung scenario. If you have a high speed internet connection but notice that your web browsing speed isn't all that it's cracked up to be, then your problem may lie in the DNS. By optimizing your device's DNS records, you can find the fastest routes for your data packets to take when traveling the internet. It won't boost to your download upload speed but in some cases, it can result in quite a noticeable improvement in web browsing time. So guys, uh, yun yung pinakano. It won't boost to your download or upload speed but in some cases, it can result in a quiet a, no a noticeable improvement sa pagbabrowse nyo. Halimbawa ay Google DNS sa yung um, Cloudflare or OpenDNS. Ang usual kasi open DNS is uh, ginagamit siya for gamers. Um, Google DNS, uh, usually ginagamit siya for browsing, mga ganun. Okay? So at times, you may experience low hiccups while trying to use the internet from your device. Sometimes these problems can be attributed to your provider's DNS settings. Because your internet service provider or ISP may not always have the best DNS server speeds. So it's like yung data traffic. Yung, mabawa, um, mabawa magsusearch ka. So, yung search na yun, um, upload agad, ba Medyo mabagal. Yung pag-upload na part na yun, dahil meron kang halimbawang magandang DNS server na ginagamit, mabilis yung speed. Ganun din sa pagbalik. Okay? So, ito naman sunod. With DNS speed test feature. You can find and connect the fastest DNS server based on your location and network, improve web browsing, web surfing speed with faster response time, fix lag, and reduce latency, ping time on online games for better gaming experience. So now, it will improve your network connection with DNS speed test 
Now you can simply find fastest DNS server and connect it with a single touch. Ito yung key features niya. Itong app na to, yung gagamitin natin. No root required. World's first DNS changer for Android. Does not consume any system resources or RAM, DNS speed, etc, etc. Napakadami. Guys, pakibasa na lang po. Yan. And, yun lang. Um, so far for this app. So, naka-install na siya. Now, as you can see naman, tingnan natin. Um, kita nyo yung ratings and reviews. Napakataas yung mga guys na nagbibigay ng 5 star. See? Yung ano. This is a very fast VPN. Well worth less than 6 year. Combined with pure, the app really works. It increases the net power. You can use. Um, it is necessary to switch. Uh, yan. So, kitang-kita nyo naman guys. Um, super effective talaga siya. Now, dahil naka-install na siya, ayan, let's open it. Okay. So, let's try. Um, wala daw naman kasing magbabago sa speed. Normally lang, it can, um, yung lag, yung ping, yung, halimbawa, pagbukas mo ng YouTube, bukas agad. So, let's see the difference. Um, halimbawa, mag-YouTube muna ako. Medyo 1-2 seconds siya bago mabuksan, di ba? So, halimbawa, yan. Um, ah, yan. So, kita nyo naman, hindi nag, ano, hindi nag take longer yung bang app para mag-load. So, now, try natin, i-click muna yung DNS. Now, pag open nyo ng DNS, of course, you need to put the check mark yung sa check box, accept, Agree, uh, terms and agreements so meron siya, meron din sa taas drop down, choose na lang kayo kung anong gusto nyo google dns, open, cloud, fair, yandex level 3, komodo, ang dami quad, na, quad, quad 9 now what I usually use is yung open dns open dns, why? because this is for gamers uh, for browsing as well now yung, pwede nyo ring enable yung ip version 6 nyo kapag yung phone nyo ay may capability ng ip version 6 all you just need to do is to click start now, before natin gamitin yan, mag-speed test muna tayo guys. Tingnan natin kung aling yung DNS server na mabilis dito si Aaron nyo. Begin speed test. Kailangan natin mag-watch ng video. Mandatory siya guys. Oh yan. So, as you can see guys, ang malakas na pwedeng gamitin natin na three options is yung green. Um, Cloudflare DNS, which is 1.1.1.1. We can use it. Google DNS, we can also use it. Uh, milliseconds niya is 59.60 ms. Or we can also use the open DNS, 0.50 ms. Now, yun yung current active. Kasi yun yung, yung sa open DNS, yun yung currently na nakaset up doon sa aking um, ZLT. Nung pagpasok natin sa 192.168.254.254. Ang current DNS na nakalagay doon is yung 208.67.222.222. Now, we can use the Cloudflare, the Google DNS. You can choose whichever, whatever you want or which one you'd like to use. Kasi, ang sabi ng iba, from time, for example, parang bumibitaw daw yung Cloudflare. Minsan nawawala bigla. Oh, using this app, you can easily change the DNS na. But since yung Cloudflare yung may pinakamababang F, uh, MS or milliseconds, yun yung gagamitin ko. Now, I can always use the enable um, IPv6. Then, I'll just need to click start. Then, OK connecting. Ayan. So, as you can see, pag green na siya, from blue, it's not yet connected. But from to green, uh, blue to green, it's already connected. At mas makikita nyo naman sa notification sa taas ng inyong um, phone na nakakonected na siya. So, now, let's see. Um, let's open YouTube. Close call it, ha? Ayan. So, let's check. Oh, see. Yung pag, yung, kita nyo yung buffer na, yung, yung pag-buff nya ng, wala pang 1 seconds. Ang bilis, diba? Uh, like kanina na at least 1-2 seconds bago lumabas. Now, let's try to um, search 5-hours um, movie. 5-hours movie. 5-hours movie. I think hindi siya naga na kapag naka-recording. So, let's check na lang. 5 hours movie. Ayan. So, ang bilis. And, let's see kung mag-play agad. Kasi usually, yung matatagal, bawa yung mga 10 hours, yun yung matatagal mag-play. Oh. 
guys ambitious so tama na yan this is not ano ayan so yun guys um ganun lang na ako pong kung may tanong kayo please check first yung compatibility this is available for android na kung may question kayo about uh, for example hindi nagana um you can always leave a comment dun sa play store para makita siya ng developer ma at least ma-update nila what's new, yun yung purpose ng pag leave a comment guys then para makita sila ng developer kung for example hindi sila compatible sa current android nyo the best way is to leave a comment para mabasa Okay guys, so yun lang. Um, next up, yung video na next na i-upload ko is um, yung journey ko sa pagsisetup ng mismong aking external antenna for the Mimo. And then, yun guys, uh, abang-abang lang. So, eto. And then, magsasuggest din pala ako ng panibagong APN. Um... And also, there's a new way, new easy way to... Uh So, yun guys, a uh, new easy way to set up uh, or to add APN on your phone without yung kahit hindi nyo na i-download yung bin file. But of course, first kailangan nyo mo nang i-download yung bin file para ma-edit yung, yung setting, yung, yung configuration para from time to time hindi nyo na kailangan i-download. Okay, so yun lang guys. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Uh, dun po sa mga nagaantay para sa ibang model please bear with me lang po kasi on process pa lang po yung pagpapahiram sa akin kasi hindi nila agad mapahiram yung device nila kasi nga ginagamit din po pero guys maraming maraming salamat po sa mga bagong subscribers at dahil dyan thank you so much po bye bye see you again on my next vlog guys thank you please don't forget to subscribe like comment and share bye bye